There she is. Wow, I'm genuinely surprised by this. Now we just play the waiting game. Get it warmer in here so we can turn on the water. We're bearing down on our cabin right now. This is our remote cabin up in the north woods of Minnesota. We usually like to check in on it periodically in the winter time. And uh, with our daughter, Riley and my daughter being born in about two months, this was the last chance I was gonna get. All right, yeah, come on out. Good dog. There she is. <sighs> this is why we come to check on the place. This window right here is not supposed to be open. Thankfully I can see it was just the wind. So the first order of business anytime we get to the cabin is to start to get the place warm. And in this case, that's building a fire. The door to our wood stove is in need of repair. Last time we were here, uh, a log shattered the glass and we've been waiting for that replacement glass to come. So we're gonna have to reattach the door. Um, I have it rigged together with some aluminum foil. Actually does the job. We just need heat for the most part. So it's gonna have to do. Right now, it's just below 30 degrees Fahrenheit inside the cabin. Yeah, I'm debating whether I want to uh, just shut down half of the cabin and only worry about heating this space. The downside is if I do that, I won't have running water, I won't have a functional bathroom, uh, I won't be able to sleep on a bed, and I'll have to sleep here on the couch. Either way, I gotta go get some water for me to drink and also for Ellie. So I think we're gonna have to make a trip to our well, uh, which is just off yonder. <laughs> Welcome to the original Stewart family cabin. This thing was built in 1936. My great, great grandpa. Then this right here is my grandpa's cabin. He has uh, passed away, sadly, but he built this when he was 17 years old to be his tiny cabin, if you will. And then the outhouse is there. And our cabin used to be the bunkhouse and it used to sit right there. And so that was moved uh, maybe like four or five years ago. With so many generations up here, it was hard for everyone to be able to use the cabin as much as they wanted. And so what happened is two of my uncles, two of my dad's brothers, share this with their families. Uh, my other uncle has an off-grid cabin, really, really cool. In fact, we'll drop by there a little later across our little lake back that way. And then my family has the old bunkhouse, which we converted into our cabin. But the real reason we came over here, <laughs> we're gonna pump some water. I'm genuinely surprised by this. 
the well is so deep that this thing historically has worked in the winter time. Man, that's too bad. I thought it was gonna be easy peasy. Fill up our jug, we'd be set for the, for the weekend. But now I think what we gotta do is head back and uh, really focus on warming up the cabin so we can, so we can turn on the water. Now we just play the waiting game. Keep stoking the fire and get it warmer in here so we can turn on the water. Oh my gosh, it's pumping out so much heat. Oh yeah. That's what we want. It's really starting to warm up in here. the sound of pure silence. Very rare in today's world. Oh yeah. It's warming up now, huh, Al? I did turn on the water and uh, it always takes a minute for it to kick on. So let's see if we've got anything. Yeah, we got water. It's a big deal. <laughs> it was a uh, successful first night here. We got the place heated up, water's on. Everything's good to go. Good night. You guys, I cannot tell you how much I look forward to my morning cup of coffee. It's just such an important way for me to sort of ease into the day. It's always been important to me with this channel that we work with brands and sponsors that we truly believe in. And that's why I'm really excited to uh, introduce you guys to Magic Mind. I get up every morning, I work on my YouTube videos, and then I go into the office and I work a full day at my job. I didn't realize this, but the caffeine in coffee doesn't actually give your body energy. What it does is it blocks a receptor in your brain, which tells your body that you're tired. Three to five hours later, once that caffeine wears off, that crash sets in and you feel so incredibly tired. Matcha boosts your body's energy. And so since starting on Magic Mind a few weeks ago, that crash for me has been seriously reduced. I love that it's not meant to replace your cup of coffee unless you wanted to. You can take it with your cup of coffee. So what I usually do is I get my morning cup, I'll take a few sips or maybe I'll even finish my first cup and then I shake it up and I down this guy. Having that extra sense of energy, calm and focus has been so incredibly important and that's why I love Magic Mind. So if you want to give it a shot, check the link in the description below and use my promo code for a discount. You have 60 days to try it out. And if it's not working for you, they will refund your money.
do really enjoy um, having the limitations that we have in our other cabins of just having either use the wood stove or propane stove or the fire. But uh, it is one of the things that makes coming to this cabin kind of a treat is we have a full kitchen here and we have electricity. And so I, I tend to get a little lazier. I don't think I've had one of these in a very long time. It's good. It's very good. Simple, convenient, tasty. Ellie, I wouldn't do that. Come here. Good dog. That over there is a uh, beaver lodge. <laughs> Don't really uh, want Ellie to get in a fight with a beaver today. <sighs> Thank you for coming. Well, the sun has officially set, and that means it is just about dinner time. I cannot wait. It, I'm not making anything fancy tonight, but uh, I'm really excited for what I'm gonna be whipping up.
fight. Oh yeah. Just phenomenal. <laughs> What do you think? Good? Yeah, I think so too. Good night, guys. We'll see you in the morning. Wow. It's an interesting morning. The pines are all uh, frosted over. Oh, some deer. There they go. We didn't really get a great view of them because they were gone quickly, but uh, it's always cool to see animals up here. Ooh, check it out, guys. This is a spot where the deer are bedding down, lying in this area right here, which is pretty cool to see because the cabin is just right there. Oh man, so many of these poor trees. I hate to see it. I know this is like, you know, this is nature. This is what happens, but ugh, I want to help them. Ugh. There we go. Let's give them some, somewhat of a chance here. Right, Al? <laughs> Let's keep going, girl. Here she is. So this is the big lake. Might even be a hundred feet or more straight down there. Um, and so to really build access here, we're not only gonna need to, you know, make a trail, but we'd have to put in some sort of stairs or switchbacks. But maybe someday. For now, I'm just happy that we have uh, we have a dock and. Uh, you know, we get out on the little lake. It's time to clean up. First thing I'm gonna do is do all of our dishes. Then uh, it's gonna be time to shut off the water. Real quick guys, uh, on our way out, I'm gonna show you my uncle's cabin. It's off grid and uh, that's it just across the lake there. So once we get to the car, I'm gonna drive over there and we'll check it out. And uh, I'll wrap this thing up. Goodbye cabin. Look how pretty the trees are.
Here we are. All right, moment of truth. Will the car start? I don't see why I wouldn't, but. All right. Good dog. Take a look at this beauty. I think she's gorgeous. I love the uh, the bright orange door. Pretty simple. We got a wood stove. Got a nice little couch here. Kitchen's over here. A little sleeping loft up there, which right now is just being used for storage. You can see we got the family photo wall coming together up here as well. And then this is the new addition. Check it out. When my uncle first built this, uh, it ended right here um, because, I don't know, it was meant to just be a hunting shack. Uh, but as time went on, he uh, realized like, like me, building stuff is just too much fun. And so he put together this addition. And if you take a look out the bedroom window, you can see our cabin across the lake. It's pretty cool, huh? And as you can see, he's got a little outhouse back there. A uh, little fire ring right here. And I know eventually he's gonna try to put in a little, little well like just a uh, sand point somewhere here to get water. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this place is so special to me. Um, as I said, our family has been enjoying this for generations and uh, I just love that I get to be a part of that and uh, gonna be able to bring my daughter here to appreciate it as well. And what's really crazy is this marks the final trip uh, up here before I'm a dad. <laughs> and so that's, that's really surreal as well. Um, I'm just, uh, yeah, so grateful for everything I have. So grateful for you guys for watching and just joining us on this. Um, we're just trying to figure out what makes us happy and simple living and nature and cabins just happens to be part of that. And uh, I hope you enjoy it as well. It's time I get back to the cities, get back to see Rye, and uh, see you guys on the next video.